We're solving rational equations, shall we? Go to our first example. In order to solve one of these, there's a couple different methods. The one we're employing is multiplying through by a common denominator to get rid of the fractions, because I know how you feel about fractions. So here we go. The common denominator of all the denominators is going to be m minus 8. Great, wait, okay, why? Because this is 9 over 1, fun. So the common denominator is going to be the least common multiple of the denominator. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to multiply every term by m minus 8. So I multiply this by m minus 8, great. And I multiply this by m minus 8, great. And I multiply this by m minus 8, great. <coughs> And we see, they're gonna fight! Uh, uh, oh! And here I'm left with M minus nine times M minus eight. Ooh! And then on the right, they fight! Uh, uh, oh! I'm mixing colors. So then that's eight, whoa. All right, finish him. Acabalo! So then that's M minus eight. 9m minus m minus make mass 72. Ooh. Yeah, on a good day. And then that's 8. And then I'm gonna gather, collect, and combine. And gather, collect, and combine. And that I find that's a minus 8m plus 72. Ooh. And that's 8. Wait, now I subtract off the 72. Minus 72. Minus 72. Ooh. So then minus 8m is. A uh, minus 64. Ah! That's nice. Our next example has 64 all over it. Okay, um, divided by minus 8 and m is 8. Great. Wait, just when you thought you were done, you have to check it. So then we go and we check. We check m equal 8. Oh, look at that. Violates the domain. Oh, violated. Yeah, because you can never divide by 0. You can never divide by 0. You can never divide by 0. When you put an 8 back up in there, it divides by 0, so you are not, sol not a solution. And if I can't do it, homie, it can't be done. There is no solution. Did I spell solution right? Let's mix this next example. Oh, sure. So now we're on up over here, and we see that that's 16 over 4x plus 7. What am I doing? I want a factor. I want a factor. What's a common factor there? I hope it's 16. 16. Yeah. 16 times what is 112? Is it seven? Seven? Huh. Let's see, that's a two. Carry a four. Ooh, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of heavy. It is seven. And then minus, really? There's no X's? Ah, there's supposed to be an X there. Hmm. Sorry, okay, catch that. So then 16 times what is 64? That's a four X. And then that's a lope. That factor, that's 7 plus 4x, 7 minus 4x. What's next? I deduce, we can reduce, and we do. Because these are common factors, and it's multiplication, I can... Uh, uh, oh, whoa, look at this. 16 over 4x plus 7 is equal to 16 over, now I want to use the committed to property of addition. And when I do that, I get a 4x plus 7. Are those the same? They are the same. So, there's infinite solutions, but maybe you want to clear the fractions anyway, because that's just what you're trained to do. So, you multiply by the common denominator of 4x plus 7, Oh, it's dripping so wet. So then that's a 4x plus 7. And then those reduce. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you get a true statement. True. And when it's true, then that's an infinite number of solutions. Or, since there's only one x, we'll say all reals. 
That's a fancy way to say all reals. You could also say um, infinite solutions or like minus infinity to infinity because that's like everything. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.